That's how Aaron ended up in loser's side. It was Sora that was the, the choice there. So this is a character, despite how new it is, Aaron feels more than comfortable to have them up. But it is actually going to be the Rob up first out on PS2. Yeah, deciding to go with the Rob to have that counter zone gameplay. But one thing that that's going to be a huge tool right there, Zare. Yep. Because you try to short hop bear me, what if I just poke you from this far range? You try to jump too much, Rob is big. He's going to go ahead and uh, catch you with that every single time. Now, using Morph Balls at, uh, at ledge, it's such an easy tool to react to. Uh, did, did they shield? Get it grabbed. Did yep. they get up on neutral? Get up? Punish that. It's an ex excellent way to just read how people behave at ledge. Yeah, I mean, we saw in the set versus Donk yesterday. Teaser was absolutely phenomenal with reading ledge options time and time again. It really felt like he had 100% win rate on that just over and over and over. Yeah, it, it, it's it's actually kind of, it gets kind of annoying after a while because you're like, what do I do to get off ledge? I feel like I can't win here. And just damage mitigation is the key on teaser. But one thing that can happen to a Samus is once you start recognizing how they get out of disadvantage, they'll use Morph Bomb, so you go challenge it immediately, or they utilize their jump too early, mm -hmm. and then you catch them because they're very floaty. They do not have good aerial drift on the way down because it's not a great fastball. And that's something to keep an eye on both on stage and off stage as well, because especially with a character like Rob, who can take advantage of somebody with bad jumps, bad jump habits above and also off stage. This could lead to some very early stocks just like that. Jumping off the ledge into the back air, Aaron more than ready says, I'm going to have a hitbox that's the size of Samus and it just negates this entire lead that Teaser had built. It was actually great to see that uh, Aaron ended up punishing what we are leading up to next is that Samus is one of the best characters at getting off ledge because of that short hop uh, bear and right. Zare. It, it's, very, it's a big jump habit problem for them there because they think that they're just going to get away from it at every time. That back air says absolutely not. Yep, yep. You know, it just covers so much space there. And what's really going to be interesting as well is watching how Aaron is going to use his going to use and move his shield as Rob because we've already seen it a couple times the Zare we've seen it with the Fair as well where you would expect the, a Samus player to be able to kind of uh, shield poke a little bit more on Rob but more than once now we've seen Aaron tilt his shield up to prevent that and that's going to be a big thing because that's where those hitboxes are coming from. Yeah another big thing too that that kill throw being an option both of them are going to be looking for kill throws the problem though for that can happen to teaser is the oh actually that was really good he used back air and crossed up and baited out the whiff grab yep. that we were just leading to the whiff grab problem you got to watch out for how often you whip but i do see teaser is starting to try and change up his uh, like the pace of the game a bit more he's trying to play a little bit more cqc rather than try to zone because he's been losing out a lot on the zoning work and he's gonna get punished for that up b aaron's got to make sure he plays continuously exactly how he's doing because if he starts getting jump right a lot it could lead to trouble well and the tough thing there on that second stock is what teaser was looking for in those openers from the down throw Oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, oh boy. <laughs> you saw I started freaking out in the chair. But uh, <laughs> when, we, when we saw the down throw, and then even after the down throw, he's just going for the raw up airs. Like, that's something he wants to force uh, God, wants to force Aaron above him. But it's not doing him any good right now because Aaron is just basically microspacing around everything that we're seeing. And this is why there's only 95% on the second stock. Teaser started out with a huge lead Ooh, in um, the first stock and has, has not given it up since. Rosa, he's starting to react a lot to these ledge options now. You saw how he reacted immediately to the jump before. He now he's reacted to his shield. And he Oh! Ooh. He knew at for, like at worst the child trades there, right? Yep. But he knew he was gonna press a button, he was gonna try and do something out there and just send out a half charge. You don't need the full charge for that just to take it out. Plus, near full charge is actually better than sometimes than half charge. I mean I mean full charge because you can lead into accomplish things off of that. It has it's a so lot of hits done. It's so good. Like why does it lead into dash deck? Why does I it lead know. into grab? I this don't. is at the back here if you get the frame window tight too. It's, yeah. it, it's, it's kind of ridiculous. Okay, here's a big fair of the startup. Dash oh. attack as well. Going to push back into the corner. Oh, no. oh! He was frames off of connecting that. That was literal frames on the neutral getup because if that connects, that was that uh, that hit some we were talking about. That would have led to a grab. Yep. He could run up and either A, look for the air dodge, drop down back air, or B, immediately run up and try and go for a nair, push him deep off stage, I think and now that's you have what an edge guard. Be. I think it was going to be the nair just to push Rob further and further because then he gets to get, retreat back to stage, get the charge shot building as well, and then just move on from there. And it's just one of those things where we saw on the second stock where he was a couple of frames away from hitting those up airs to get those combos started. Mm -hmm. We saw on the third stock where he was a couple of frames away from getting that grab. Teaser, teasingly close to getting those sequences set up and is, is pushing Aaron pretty hard right now. You see him reacting in the camera screen a little bit like this is tough. This, this is, is not stressful, that's yeah. Easy. Like you're, you're at your home turf. You do not want to let people down for one, but two, you don't yeah. want to let yourself down because if there's one thing that can happen to Aaron is that he definitely, he like, he, he's, he's pretty hard on himself when it comes to his yes, like his, his success. He's done incredible with his stream. He's done incredible with his process moving forward. But his character crisis can sometimes hit him sometimes. That's why we'll see him alternate between. But his results, he wants to be of the best of the best. And whenever he doesn't perform to the best, he, it definitely can get to him. But he's definitely looking very good here in this, in this set against Deezer. 
We haven't seen too many of those, uh, mainly because of like the uh, the short range game that both Rob and Samus plays. But there's been a couple times now where that up B has actually come back to bite Teaser pretty hard. And it's just one of those things where the way that Aaron plays, well, these, these approaching fairs and, you know, these safe back airs, like you're not going to see up B as much as you would in a normal matchup versus Samus. You see how Teaser just keeps going for these half charges just to have enough range for one to re uh, not only get the damage on, but two, get you to maybe spot dodge out of fear or just hold on to shield. He doesn't have to commit to actually shooting it at any time. He's got a pretty big lead here. Uppy will not kill on that spot. That move is kind of strong, but not super strong. Oh, oh that big. move has, does have a reflector attached to it, so you won't see that often, but that's really good. That's a big anti-air, and he catches him slipping on it, and that's going to take the stock. You got to wonder if Teaser was trying to air dodge towards that side platform, but unfortunately that up tilt would have caught him regardless. Aaron, very, very comfortable in that position. And once again, despite this massive lead from Teaser you're starting off with, Aaron just does not care. Exactly. Now Teaser just like, well, he's pretty much in the ledge. same spot as last time, just trying to find some kind of opener. You're at up to kill percents now, so if you're, oh, never mind, that don't matter. That don't matter at all. It's like a whole plasma shot to the face. So second stock here, Teaser has had a couple spots where he's had a pretty good lead, but he has to be able to close out the stock first, and then Aaron runs away with it. Mm -hmm. He's got to clean that up. Like Aaron, I like the fact that Aaron's right into that falling back air. That's one of the, the, the unique things about Samus is how quick some of those aerials come out front facing. You have to be a record, you have to be cognizant of that as you're trying to fight this character. It's got a lot of fade back too, so it's hard to like, punish those landings. Oh, that! Oh, oh, oh! My goodness, that right there—he stalled it just to see. Like, okay, gut check. Do you move or do you not? Do you I'm gonna let it rip because I'm gonna go deep off stage anyways, and you're not gonna punish me for it. And that is a massive hit there for Aaron because Teaser wasn't that low on, uh, like, he wasn't that high in percent. Hold on now, Ajax. This is another one of those tough situations right now. But Aaron chooses right. It's rock, paper, scissors for your life, and Aaron actually pulls the right call there. Remember what we talked about before with the Morph Bomb out of disadvantage? He knew the gap, got right under the Morph Bomb. Now 64% on Teaser. He's also facing elimination. Yeah, you don't up throw in that position. You need it to, for Rob, at least above. But, oh, he spaced yep. it out, but good reaction. Instead of going for an F-Tilt or a forward smash punish, he saw the slight drift back from Aaron and did the dash attack. He's just standing up from ledge here, kind of dodge the charge shot there. That's big. It's kind of, oh, that was so close to the forward smash read that Aaron needed. Now, uh-oh, this is where things can start to get to you because mm -hmm. you're still taking a lot of straight hits. He was forced to recover high. The Nair's coming, of course. You got to watch out for that, but reads the roll. Yeah, He's starting I to get hit a lot. I love the one dash attack there. Really smart stuff. Mm. Tough break on that charge shot, and now the kind of the tables turned. Take a little bit of extra damage to drop through back here, though. That's big. That's a big whip punish. No, didn't get it on the ledge, but you put the more ball out. What do you do? You got to re-grab now. Being stuck at the ledge, putting up the Zare, trying to read it. No, gets out with the jump. He just rolls through. in the center stage. Ooh, oh, that just make... missed. Oh, walk up. Oh, my God. Ro oh, Rosa. Rosa, teaser's clutch. That's not going to kill. Aaron's going to be able to get the oh. in. Air dodge down, though. Here comes some more falls. You got to watch out. You just got hit by one. You got up two. in front of it, and that's going to lead to the stock. You get that move, that more fall. More fall covers neutral getup. It lingers. Once you get out of that animation, you will be confronted into a hit. But the problem is easier said than done yep. because you just got pressured on neutral getup like four times before that. So you expect them to maybe read a roll with a down smash. Reverse hit will kill you there too, or a back air. But Teaser got so many hits at the end, and he clutched it out. And I'm happy because we get to see a game number three. I want to see Aaron make the adjustments as well, but whoever walks away with this definitely deserves it. Yeah, this is going to be huge. We're going PS2 again. We're staying robbed the entire time. No kind of second guessing on these counter picks for this matchup. Going to be the big up B right out of the shield. 15%. You got to put that fear in early. You cannot nair on me for free because Rob's want to be able to get away with that as much as possible. Rosa, though, he's getting a lot of juggles here. That's a pretty decent start. And wow. still stuck in this disadvantage. Going to use the up air there to move outwards from him, though. Do we see that? Do we see Aaron kind of go for maybe a more zoning approach to this? Kind of what we're seeing so far. Yeah, it's, it, like yeah, he's, he's before he was zoning quite a bit, but now it's like way more CQC, like whacking flailing and flailing arm flailing tube man, just oh up 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 air up air up air up air, like he's just keeping him at disadvantage. Oh that. Okay, you gotta wait just enough. But he's just also been hit quite a bit for approaching uh -oh, too much too. Uh -oh. That's a big jab block. Yep. <laughs> Aaron got deep into the chair off of that one. He's Dude, definitely he, feeling he a bit puts, better. He puts his whole body into those F smashes. Drops in. Yep. Oh, oh, so smooth. That so that covers so big. much. That was big. The gyro was the one that actually traded with the fair there, not Rob, which allowed Aaron to go get that backer uncontested. 
super great placement there. And one of those things where you just kind of understand what Samus's are looking for in that kind of disadvantage state. And we talked about it previous, how good Samus is off ledge, but Aaron has had an answer multiple times now. Yeah, that's the big that's the big thing. You have to put fear into them because they, they want to get off there for free and they, because they can eventually set up rolls. But no, that's the second time he's done it. And Aaron just keeps drifting away to not get much out. He's only a 70, so he's not going to end up dying off of that. But you got to be careful with how you get off a ledge here. Gets through with the air dodge, he'll get that and just misses. That would have led to, I believe that was Death not strike. enough to actually lead into uh, a jab lock. Oh! Oh, using that hairbox shifter to avoid both the ro both the gyro and the laser. That check won't be enough to do it yet here, but you do get Ladge out of this. He's boxing away. Oh, tried to read the spot dodge, but he was just out of range of it to actually get a punish. They couldn't cover roll either because Teaser kept his cool. Up throw. No, go for the down throw still. Oh! He's still going to get it. Still going to get it. He, he tried to pass the DI check to get out of here as quickly as possible, but ended up up being. Now Teaser facing a two-stock deficit. The crowd is going crazy. You got Aaron's side with Florida. You got Georgia trying to wake up Teaser here to get back into this. I mean, this is going to be a good start for here. Looks like we're going to go to more fall setups. No, Aaron's going to drop down. And it's big because you can actually use the ch charge there because of the fact that Aaron spent so much time off stage. If he hangs from ledge at all, it's going to lead into something. But Aaron's not going to get the jab lock set up. And that's a side B oh. way deep off stage, Ajax. What's the answer here? Uh, yeah, and he could go for that all he wants now, too, because he's up two stocks. He could go for that side B. And utilizing that time, it just keeps doing it. And that you can see the look on Teaser like, bro, are you kidding me? Like, that's the type of stuff that will get to you because he's up two stocks. There's no reason to not uh, do something silly like that because it messes oh with my you. Oh, tactical crouching in front of him. Okay, trying to let Georgia know what's up. And uh, <laughs> oh, I, all right. No. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, my God. Aaron really just did that. Aaron really just did that and talks to the crowd before talking to his talking to his opponent. He knows that they're back there. Look at that. Kings in the crowd supporting oh. the boy. The BK crew has shown up. CFL has been coming out strong, and you already know when they see one of the boys, especially against Georgia, because that rivalry has been going for quite a while. Absolutely. Already setting dominance here in a three-stock and just literally dancing on him at the end. Like, just with no no fear whatsoever. Like, look, I do not think you're going to uh, make a comeback on me. I just hit you with four side Bs in a row. What are yeah. you going to do, gonna do? What are you going to do? I am I am four for four on this, 100 for 100, and you are tilted in the player game. Mm -hmm. Buddy, hold this three stock. Here's the dirty 30. I'll see you later. Yeah, cash money in the bank, <laughs> man. That was, so, that was so clean from Aaron. With that first game after, uh, like, after uh, having that comeback on you and just, like, being really stressed out and such like that. Yep. Uh, excuse me, game two. Uh, like, it's... That could get 